Hey guys, Brian and Jeff with WorkshopAddict.com in Bosch sent us one of their new nail strike paddle bits. This is going to be interesting because Bosch says it's what? The first nail ever for working First of wood. its kind. First ever nail killing wood bit. Now it's probably the first ever spade bit that's meant for nails. But we have seen other uh, auger type bits that are meant for nails. Yeah. Greenlee specifically makes one. So this should be cool to see what happens with this one inch bit. Now they make them from, on the back it says from half inch up to an inch and a quarter. All of them at this point are six inches long. And we have the one inch, so. We're gonna put it up got... next to a standard daredevil bit. Which is also made by Bosch. And see what happens to the daredevil bit in nails and also real world, we're gonna try to hit some nails in the center, we're gonna try to hit some nails on the side, see what happens. Because it says four to five cutting edges, which you can see you've got them on both sides and they're staggered on the top or the tips. We'll see where it's gonna hit the best. It's gonna be interesting. Now on this, something that your electricians or somebody is gonna use like this, it says to use this on low speed. I don't know if that's what everybody would do, but we're gonna follow their instructions. High torque, low speed mode. We're also gonna hang on to this because we don't wanna get hurt. There's no side handle on this small drill. And we don't know what's gonna happen. No. It might cut right through it, it might not. It so. might not, we'll see. So when we went at this with the standard speed bore and a battery operated drill in low range, kind of gave you a little bit of fighting back. It kept, the drill kept cutting out. End result, it did go through it, but it pretty much made a mess of the speed bore. Yeah, there's two prongs in this speed bore that stick out that help it to cut faster and pull things out. Those are- The point's dull. gone off one side, so. Now when we worked with the nail strike, I mean, it worked well, but we still had the same problem. We had the same problem with the drill. battery operated drill. Yeah, it kept cutting out. So, moved up to a corded drill to give us the extra power, and she started chewing through some nails pretty quick. Now, the one problem we did encounter when you hit a nail real close to the auger, it didn't want to cut it. If you were out to the edge or to the side, it'd go right through it. And you can kind of see how this bit is designed and if you were to get a nail up close, there's not as much that it could there's bite. There's not as much through. cutting edge there. Yeah, and it, it, what's your chances? We're definitely trying to show real world, but the reality is, is we know where the nail is, we're hitting it wherever we can. Right, where and you go at drilling a hole through a wall or something, you don't know where the nail's at. You don't know what size nail that. We were using, you know, framing nails if you were hitting an eight penny or finish nails or maybe uh, drywall screws or something, that they probably would have lasted up. a lot longer than we got it to last. So we just continued drilling, drilling, and drilling. It, it seemed to make sense to just push this bit as far as we can. We got to the point where it really wasn't happy going through all the nails, depending where we hit it or even not. Even this one where we wrapped the nail up around the auger and pulled it right out of the wood. It just, it, it got through what we figured nine holes out of uh, many, many more, and we probably got through 75% of the holes. Yeah. And then afterwards, we just wanted to come back and say, what's this drill gonna be like through normal wood? And we're using womanized lumber, so it's gonna cake up on here a little bit more. But it was still fairly sharp and you still could use it. Yes, once the auger bit got through the bottom of the two by four, you had to push a little bit. 
But I still think you could save this. A little bit of time with a file or whatever, you could put an edge back on that. Pretty easy. It's yeah. not chewed up as bad as you would think when you nope. really look at it. It's just knocked the edge off. Of it. Right, so if you're an electrician, this is something that you're probably really gonna be looking out for. I imagine anyone that's mechanical, electrical, plumbing, uh, any type of construction, especially remodeling, working on older houses, yeah. this thing is going to be where it's at. So if you're looking for a bit that's going to take the nails, going to chew through most of them and give you that upper edge on getting through that hole, the new nail strike from Bosch might be something you want to look at. We thank you for your time, guys. Make sure you give us a like on this video, subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.